So how does the mechanism of injury happen for an LCL injury? So typically it's a high energy blow to the anterior medial knee combined with hyperextension and extreme varus force. As you kind of see this type of tear right here, that varus force completely ruptured that ligament as well as surrounding structures. It also can be injured due to non-contact varus stress or non-contact hyperextension, which resources did state that it was a non-contact injury for Travis Hunter. So here we can take a look at this image that just helps describe the varus test. If we just take a look at this right lower extremity here, the examiner will then apply an outward pressure to the medial thigh, so placing hand more over here, and then they will apply an inward pressure from that lateral angle, um, creating that varus force. The test is first performed at that 30 degrees. Um, this will help increase the laxity and gapping that is indicative of an LCL injury. And then the examiner does place in low, and then the examiner does place that lower extremity into an extension, full extension, and it then improves in stability when doing the same test. Uh, that means that that is an isolated LCL injury if there was more gapping with the 30 degrees. And with all ligament injuries, there are different types of grades that allow us to help diagnose how severe the injury is 